please join us for a moment of silence. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, everyone. We'll jump right into our agenda. Uh, the first item is the expansion of scope of services for the landfill gash well installation contract. Staff report, and prior to staff report, I do want to read something for the record. Earlier today, Laura Green with Green Toxicology reached out to our landfill consultant, Ernie Hoke, and advised Mr. Hoke that she had been retained by the Richmond law firm of Troutman Peppers, who represents the city of Bristol, Tennessee. Based upon the potential for litigation and in consultation with outside counsel, the city of Bristol, Virginia will not be making any further comments about the landfill until the city staff and council has had an opportunity to have a more detailed discussion with outside legal counsel. The city of Bristol, Virginia has communicated with citizens about our landfill issue since January. We have had numerous discussions in council chambers about the landfill. The city manager has met with citizens prior to council meetings since early this summer. He has also met with people individually and in small groups about the landfill. The city manager has discussed the landfill with elected local and federal officials. The city is committed to correct any issues DEQ and our consultants advise us that need to be corrected. Unfortunately, the open dialogue the city has had with citizens of both Bristol's and the media will have to cease until further notice because Bristol, Tennessee has retained counsel to represent them in potential litigation against the city of Bristol, Virginia. We look forward to begin having open communication with citizens again as soon as outside counsel allows us to do so. Staff report. Council, before you tonight, you have a modification for the uh, landfill gas well insulation contract. The city issued an invitation to bid for the installation of 17 landfill gas wells on July 16, 2021. Aptum was awarded the contract by council approval on August 10th of 2021. Based on recommendations from landfill consultants, at least two additional wells will be needed. The current contract on only allows for the installation of 17 wells. Pursuant to Virginia Code Section 2.2-4309A, a public contract may a public contract may be increased hold on lost my, a public contract may include provisions for modification of the contract during performance but no fixed price contract may be increased by more than 25% of the amount of the contract or 50,000 whichever is greater without the advance written approval of the governor or his designee in the case of state agencies or the governing body in the case of political subdivisions the current contract allows for the modification of the contract Modification of the contract would allow up to five additional wells within the landfill. Two of the additional wells will be included in the current contract price as the price is dictated by number of feet drilled. Drilled In the event more than two additional wells are needed, the price for the additional wells will be based on the current contract prices. Previous relevant action included the uh, invitation to bid was issued on July 16, 2021, and council awarded the contract on August 10, 2021. Thank you. There are two people who signed up for public comment of this item. Uh, the first person who signed up is Rebecca. <clears throat> and just a reminder for public comment, the council chamber guidelines are everyone gets three minutes to speak. The green light will come on for your three minutes as you're speaking. The yellow light will come on, which means your time is about wrapping up. And when the red light comes on, it means your time has ended. Please remember to s speak your name and your address into the microphone for the, for the record. Thank you. Okay. Well, good thing I talked fast. Rebecca Evenden. Um, I was actually a resident of Bristol, Virginia for the past 10 years, but I'm now at 210 Race Day Center Drive, Bristol, Tennessee. Um, the wells you are considering tonight, I anticipate you will approve because frankly, these improvements should have happened years ago. Um, as you know, I reached out today by email for additional information uh, on these up to five more wells. And while I'm not a landfill consultant, my background is in chemical engineering. I have volunteered hundreds of hours trying to understand the situation at our landfill better, 
to ask good questions, review historic documents, and make recommendations to you all as you make decisions for our community. Now, I wasn't expecting the statement tonight, but this offer still stands. I want to state on the record that I will make myself available to any city council member who reaches out looking for technical input on the situation at the landfill, and maybe that means you just ask me questions and say nothing, <laughs> um, or concerning any recommendations made by landfill consultants to the city of Bristol. Uh, I do bring a concern to you tonight. While I have no objection to funding the additional wells, I wanna observe that this cycle of funding unexpected landfill needs and future unknown, potentially expensive problems will continue if we do not close this landfill as soon as possible. I've heard Ernie Hawk and city employees refer to the current plan of attack as having a bleeding patient in an emergency room. They said you have to stop the bleeding. The problem is that the tourniquet hasn't been applied. <laughs> this is a tourniquet. Um, before that patient lands in the emergency room, someone is supposed to use a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. The tourniquet needs to be applied around the trap that is going into that landfill. Uh, to slow or stop any additional waste, height or mass on top of the existing waste. If you do not do so soon, I believe we will continue to create new and even worse problems for future generations. The way that you can begin applying a tourniquet at this very moment is to hire an outside consulting firm to work independently on amended closure plans while infrastructure projects are directed by Draper Aiden and SCS. There is no reason why a closure plan cannot be created concurrently and there is no requirement from the DEQ to delay the writing and submission of a closure plan. In fact, I have been advised that DEQ has encouraged the city to have your engineering consultants work alongside theirs to speed up both the writing process of the closure plan and the review process. So please, I would urge you strongly Please begin writing a closure plan, put out an RFP to get engineers to work on this. Um, and if you don't, I think that our citizens' health and also um, the financial state of the city is gonna continue to get worse over time. So thank you very much for listening and I appreciate everything that you all are doing. Thank you very much. The, uh, the next person who signed up is uh, Mr. Kellogg. Joel Kellogg, 1204 Maryland Avenue, Bristol, Tennessee. Eight years and three days now. Um, so, I'm a simple guy, and I can be kind of a smart ass, so I'm gonna be a little of both today. But I brought a little visual aid. So if we look at our current bowl, we've got somewhere near 200 at the bottom, right? So right at 100 feet, which for some reason our contract for 17 wells at 1994 feet equals 117 maximum depth for each. What are, what are we doing here? What is this? This is, it, it's, it's a half, you know what, solution. So, um, I would like to implore the council to explore some other firms that maybe have no financial, professional, or political ties to the landfill or Bristol, Virginia. I, I just, looking, looking at what I see, Draper Aiden has been involved since, I guess, 2018, 17 maybe, and look at where we're at today. So these are the experts that you're listening to and taking advice from. They're the ones that got us in this mess unless they have come forth and said, we need to address this along with the wastewater and everything else that's going bad here. And you all just said, no, I don't, I don't see any evidence of that. I think you're just taking bad advice. And I think you really need to step back, look from a different perspective and maybe address what's really going on here, that we do not have the right people in place to handle this situation, okay? I'm sorry to hear um, that Bristol, Tennessee has maybe jumped the gun in my, in my opinion. Um, I'll miss the interaction and the, the ability to, um, you know, to share thoughts and ideas. So I appreciate your, uh, your cooperation and putting up with me for, uh, you know, for as long as you have. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, next part of our agenda, we're looking for a, a motion from council and a second. 
Uh, I move for approval of the expansion of uh, scope of services for landfill gas well installation contract. I'll second. <coughs> Just for the record, uh, Ms. Becky Nave is on the line, so uh, she has heard this conversation, I believe. Is that correct? Okay. We, uh, we have a motion and a second from the council. Is there any council discussion? So from what I'm seeing here, they fell sh both, uh, short on their footage <clears throat> that they needed to get in on the uh, pipe itself. Is that, is that the way I'm reading this? What the, uh, yes. And in order to get the footage they're going to have to add two more wells there are um, as mr. Hoke has discussed um, <coughs> in these chambers before there is a hot area in that landfill and the wells that they would the two additional wells would go into the middle of that hot area maybe not directly in the middle but in and near that vicinity of that hot area to continue to extract <laughs> gas from that hot area. Okay. <clears throat> and just for clarification, it's not that they haven't tried to get to the depth that they needed to get. There are certain points when they get to the landfill uh, that they either run into um, some sort of, uh, maybe it's the compacted waste that was bailed at some point that the drill cannot get through or some other, uh, I believe they think they hit a steel beam at one point as well that the drill could not get through. So it's not for lack of trying to get to that well depth. It's just they get to certain points and they cannot get any further. Um, what is the, uh, what's the material that the pipes are made of? Uh, you've got three different types of material. You have PVC, CBVC, and steel. Uh, does adding the additional wells affect the timeline for the completion? Uh, it probably just adds a couple of days. Okay. Uh, they can usually get through one well a day. Can you also, can you, I know we discussed this at the last meeting, but can you explain to me the difference in, um, I think the benchmark is 140 for wellhead temperature. Can you yeah. explain the difference in wellhead temperature and bottom of the well temperature? That's probably an explanation. It probably should come from an expert. But the temperatures that we were seeing on the presentation last week, those were those are the temperatures of when um, when they pull the waste up from the uh, w with the uh, auger. Okay, so that's what it was at the bottom, basically, is what you're saying. Right. <coughs> so, <coughs> um, more procedural thing. So, by modifying the contract. We can do two more wells with the um, funds we've already appropriated. And so if they do three more, we have the price within this RFP, but we'd have to appropriate additional funds. That's correct. And if they do more than that, well, we have to put we'd it We'd have out. to modify the contract again. We can modify it again. Right. Okay. And then if, um, if the amount of the contract um, exceeds 50,000 for anything above there's two additional wells we would have to come back and just authorize that expense all right if there's no other further discussion we have a motion and a second clerk please call the roll Hartley yes Nave yes Osborne yes Wingard? Yes. Farnham? Yes. If there's no other business, we stand adjourned.